Welcome back, and here we go. It's War 4 against PYCB, first one after the break. And we're doing something a little different this war. Um, we're sticking with Cassie. Again, she's not banned. We get to bring out Kindred for the first time ever. Um, and Shuri comes along as well for one fight. Um, yeah, Kindred I've practiced with a little bit. Uh, I ranked to him recently. Him, them, whatever. I'm not interested in that bollocks. And, um, yeah, I'm going to kind of make it up as we go along. So we're going path 9, and then path 2. And then we've just got one shared uh, mini-boss, which is Man-Thing on node 43. So we start off, it's been a little while since I've taken Sasquatch here. Um, classic sassy, uh, Cassie fight. One of my cleanest yet. And I don't think I've done it this season yet with with this tactic. <clears throat> so it'll be interesting to see how it varies compared to how I normally do it. Going with an invulnerability boost as, as usual, just to, to be safe. Um, turned out to be a complete waste, spoiler alert. Start as usual, hit his block only to get him to the corner and, and bait and um, use up the incinerate phase. Bait a few hits in the corner, heavy them, get the hill, get the hill block on. And apply as many stings, being very aggressive as we can, before he gets to wrath. At which point he will cheese himself to death. That will do me. Low on fuel. 23 stings repeatedly. I'm going to chop him down very, very quickly. Bastard doesn't want to do anything, took his time there, and eventually kills himself when he could be bothered to. And now we move on to Maestro, node 18. Um, Kindred is a good Maestro counter anyway. And then on top of that being Incinerate and Poison Immune makes him perfect for this node as well. Um, I knew what I was doing to start off with, in that it's a few uh, medium ending combos, or just medium mediums. Uh, get Atrophy on, then knock him down with a heavy. Um, don't get hit by the special one. I'm usually really bad at dexing that, so that was good. Um, and then from uh, get to special two, I think. And any feedback in the comments section would always be nice, because I'm really not that clued up with this guy. Um, and special ones after this. And from then on, I kind of just made things up as I went along. Um, I don't think I did a brilliant job at keeping Atrophy up. I say that as it's up at the minute. It's a strange feeling using a champ that you really don't feel overly comfortable with or sort of overly well practiced with, but it did feel very solid throughout. It felt very safe. Um, so I would use again. I don't particularly like using Symbiote Supreme for Maestro. His buffs aren't as quick and plentiful for me to uh, feed off of. But this was this was going nicely. Very slow and very boring by this point. Slowly using up my indestructible.
And finally, that's that. He's down. Took a lot of cosmic radiation damage, but other than that, it felt like a very good fight. And I don't have to use him again. Moving to section two, we've got Rindra here. Uh, another classic Cassie fight. It's nice to sort of repay visits to path two, because I haven't... It used to be... <clears throat> it used to be the path I ran the most, really. Um, pretty much before joining DSVG, and then I hadn't run it since. So it is, has been nice to sort of go back to it. It was a fun path, and using champs that I enjoy using. And it's great for Cassie. I'm trying to keep pushing Rintra back and he's being too aggressive for me. I want to just hit his block at this stage without, so that I don't trigger these regens, which is annoying, but never mind. It's always a little bit of a slower fight with this big cow. Nothing like getting punched in the face after your combat regen wears off. Didn't really, I don't know why I didn't throw my special one beforehand. Special 2 does hit very hard, it took off a nice chunk, but I'd rather kept the stings up, which have mostly all fallen off, and I'm having to start again at this stage. But that's okay, he's down, and we can move on to Domino on the EMP node uh, with Shuri. Um, I have to take this fight a little bit different to we would outside the tactic. Um, because Shuri needs to apply debuffs and obviously after special one everything becomes passive and she gets those nice juicy crits so you have to knock down with heavy to uh, make them all passive and then I can start applying debuffs again in order to keep up the hill block um, I think it tripped up one of our guys at the start of the season and it's taken I think it took a few wars for some people across different alliances to realise that Shuri does work with the tactic and is not in fact shit. You just have to play things a little bit differently. Uh, this was a really satisfying fight though. It's nice to be able to use Shuri in war. I'd like to, um, I do want to rank 3 her at some point, I just haven't got round to it. Lots of other champs have taken priority. Uh, the important thing here is to find a balance between getting those crits off and getting back to being able to place place debuffs rather than passives. Uh, the reason I'm getting crit failed is because I've got resonate on and weakness is failing to apply on domino, which is fun. Otherwise, sure he doesn't take crit fail. I just need to be careful with dexing that special one, not to mistime it, because it will probably one-shot me if crit fail is active. Or unlucky, or whatever, I can't remember. She is going down very, very quickly though. I'm not going to make another wife joke. I have to keep them spare. And there we go, very satisfying, and we can move to our final fight of the war against Man-Thing. I really wanted to take this fight last war, but I was given Kindred instead, which was the harder of the two matches. But no Kindred there today, so we can finally get to play. This is uh, one of my more, one of my favourite, probably Cassie Jewels, I think. 
Again, we've got incinerate phase at the start, so I'm just going to hang back, hit his block, and get that out of the way. I don't care about giving about him building up prowess because his specials aren't going to hit me. Invulnerability boost, I don't need it. Always nice when you can get up to the 441 sting as well. Absolutely nuked. Well, sort of. He's nuked himself. And there we go. A very clean five fights, which makes a change from my previous war. We got a much needed win today. We played really well. Um, much better than we had. And no, no knocks on PYCB because they're a very solid alliance. But they did what we needed them to do. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.